So welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be doing another drawing episode. This one's another character design and actually is from my D&D campaign as well. Uh, we've done a couple of these. One was Danny and the other was Amr. Those were both characters. Uh, that were, one was played by me and another is played by one of the people who plays in the campaign that I DM for. This next character is a little different. They are in an NPC that I have created for the party. This character's name is Kai, and what we're going to be doing today is trying to show the party what he looks like. I made a very quick Photoshop mock-up using some other people's artwork just to show like a quick reference while they were playing the game, but now I'd like to show a closer representation and also give him a more dynamic pose. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off, what I've done is I've gotten some reference material some different poses and things that I like, and I am going to sort of trace in just this backwards pose. I liked the pose, but I didn't like that it was facing away from us. So I wanted to get sort of the pose down in sort of a like a front view, but then I wanted to flip it around so that it would be facing towards us and not away from us. So what you can see there is I try to flip the legs so that the uh, what was the back leg is now the front leg tried to uh, basically just fully flip this person around. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to go in and do sort of what I've showed in previous videos, which is just give like an outline, very rough sketch of the body and some of the proportions. And after uh, I sort of do this, it's going to be time to try to refine that. So as you can see, this is like a very weird outline, so my proportions were pretty far off. Uh, I realized later that the biggest problem was the size of the head, but uh, right now it kind of looks like this hunched, like, lurking zombie thing, which is not at all sort of the idea or vibe that I'm going for. So I need to fix a lot of these different things that are making it look so strange. I fix some of the arm musculature, I make the forearms shorter. Uh, because that forearm should be going back a little bit. And uh, overall, just try to edit the pose in ways until it looks more natural and sort of human-like. I wish that I had fixed the head a little bit more. It's still small and tilted in, in like an awkward fashion, uh, but I went ahead and left it during this. So then I sort of uh, traced in one of the hands, uh, I wanted to get the hand out pretty quick, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time in it, so I outlined uh, an existing hand. And then over to the left, I basically, right next to the, uh, the face that I was referencing, I drew my own face. I wanted to use the same sort of head shape uh, and horn shape, but I wanted to uh, change up some of the facial expression and the hair and stuff. So... After I did that, uh, we cut forward a little bit, and I have uh, done another hand. I have put the head onto the body, and you can see here the Photoshop version, uh, just using others' artworks. Uh, I think one of these is like a concept art from Lord of the Rings for like an elven soldier. The other one is uh, a somebody's artwork for a tiefling, and I basically just put those together, try to make this character a little bit. But I wanted to make my own character and, you know, really draw uh, Kai for himself. So I'm using this as reference. Uh, I really like the way the armor's designed, so I try to stick pretty close to it, uh, but in a more cartoony fashion for the, the right hand, uh, my drawing. So uh, what I'm doing now is with red going over the body with some of the patterns and stuff that are in the armor to lay out the way the uh, armor and clothing would fit over the pose that my version is doing. So you can see like the robe at the bottom, instead of going straight down and kind of draping over the legs uh, the way it does in the original sort of Photoshop version, this robe kind of uh, is pushed out of the way of the legs because uh, my version is kind of crouching a little bit. Uh, they're not standing fully uh, straight, so the, the cloth would move out of the way for that. Uh, and then similarly, I've changed up some of the uh, stuff up on the upper body, just so it fits sort of this arm position that I've given. Uh, I want it to look like uh, this, this character has, uh, is about to do something, or has just done something, is channeling magic of some sort. So I wanted to give him a little bit more of like a readied stance rather than like this guard stance. 
Uh, once I get in the armor, just the general outlines of kind of what I'm thinking here in design, I go over with a finer uh, outline of it. So I'm now cleaning up a lot of the line work, trying to get it the way I actually want it. Interestingly enough, uh, I updated Photoshop, or I guess I deleted the old version of Photoshop, and that got rid of a lot of my brushes. So halfway through this, I had to go and re-download brushes. I would recommend, uh, if you use Photoshop, that you try to find some special, some different brushes, different brush packs. Uh, the original sort of standard set of brushes you can use for a lot, uh, and if you're really good with it, you can do some really cool art. I've seen others who make fully rendered uh, illustrative pieces with just the sort of standard brushes, but I am not that good, and I really like having uh, certain brush types. So I had to go and download those again, and I got my sort of clean inker brush that I, I prefer. It's one of the Keith Haring brushes. Uh, and I used that for outlining. Then I changed up the face a little bit. I ended up changing it again, but I didn't want him to be like all angry and stuff, so uh, I just changed that up. I didn't like the original expression I had. After that, I sort of select the outline, and I fill it with a neutral gray, and then I start blocking in colors. If you don't know much about D&D, then uh, you won't know what this race is. They kind of look like demons, I guess, but uh, they are a race called tieflings, and it's sort of like a cross between like a human and like a demon or something like that. This character is a tiefling, so I went ahead and uh, colored them as such. Tieflings have sort of a reddish hue to their skin. This person's family uh, is known for having this like white hair, so I gave them that. And then the city from, that they're from is called Evandris, which is a city that I created and is uh, represented by different colors. This character was originally in the royal guard of Advandris and therefore has sort of this royal guard armor that they wear so I went ahead and put in those colors as well. After I block in the main colors I go back in with some different sort of half tone and pattern brushes because I want these like silvery sections to look kind of like chainmail. Uh, it ends up doing a kind of cool effect. I'm not sure how I feel about it fully at the end, but uh, it's not the worst, so uh, it ends up being something that I'm happy with, but could probably improve. Uh, I also use a very light sort of uh, watercolory art marker brush to do some texture on just like the fabric that he's wearing on this robe, and then I try to break up the robe into different colors and really give it uh, some more feeling, some more texture. On the darker areas, I try to make it look like it's riveted or has some sort of pattern on it uh, with darker and lighter tones of these different pattern and halftone brushes. I do the same thing sort of with this chest place plate thing. It looks very strange until I do some of the shading, which really helps round it out a little bit more. Uh, but uh, this is sort of the mid ground where I've just done the blocking of colors. After that, I actually create a new layer. You saw it for a second. It's another neutral gray layer. And then what I did with that is I uh, overlaid it with a hard light blending mode. And so anything darker will get darker and anything lighter will get lighter if I paint it in uh, to this sort of gray thing. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with a soft, uh, very soft round brush uh, that's just black and I'm painting this uh, gray backdrop that's actually overlaying on top so that uh, it sort of shades in the part portions that I want. I'm also, uh, you can't see on this recording, but selecting different sections of the armors to create hard lines. So for example, if I wanted to shade, say, the middle chest plate, I would only select that middle chest plate sort of layer because I want a hard line so that the uh, border of it is dark shadow, but that dark shadow doesn't sort of bleed into the layer that's on top of it because that would, you know, look very weird. The, uh, the outer fabric is casting a shadow on the inner uh, chest plate or fabric, so you want to make sure that it looks like it's casting and not that just there's like this black smudge across all of it. So after I do some of the shading for the armor and the clothing, I move up to the face. Uh, it makes the face a little dark, which I try to fix up by uh, just very lightly uh, deleting or sort of coloring out some of the shading that I did. And then I go ahead and shade the hair as well. I try to make the hair very messy in terms of shading. I didn't want to have to go in and do like full hair detail. 
So all I did there was kind of take like a soft shade brush and then very randomly draw lines through it to kind of create this noise effect. And then on top of that, I overlaid a bit of a, a noisy brush. So something that just adds little particles and stuff to it. Um, I didn't like the way the eyes looked. The, the sort of irises were too big and the pupils too beady. So uh, this character is a magic user and uh, is a little uncontrolled at times. So I decided to go ahead and show them when they were sort of channeling some of that. Their typical color uh, that I've associated with them for sort of purposes of distinguishing different magic users from each other is blue, this sort of light blue, uh, very electric blue color. So uh, I've colored the eyes solid that color and uh, we'll do some effects later on to make them seem more uh, magic-y. After I do that, I realize I need to go and do shading on the hands, uh, so I do some of that, and then lighten up the shading, and then I want some more noise to the character in general, just some more texture, so I put this sort of cloud of noise around them and then overlay it onto the character's uh, color layer. Then I have to make their staff, so I basically make a straight line and then over to the left there, I really like that shape for the staff. So I traced over the sort of general shape, put it at the end, and then I copied over some of the straight lines I had already drawn to extend it out so that it stayed straight. Um, there is a way to do a straight line tool on Photoshop, but uh, I was lazy and I didn't learn how to do it. So <laughs> instead of that, we have copy and paste. Uh, after I had the staff outline in, I went ahead and I sort of did the same thing with colors and shading. So I make this sort of solid gray layer, then I fill it with colors, and then I put another solid gray layer over that, hard light, and then uh, do like a soft blend shadow on it just to get some more depth to it. Um, after I do that, I want to do some effects. This This magic caster uses a lot of lightning magic, so... I wanted to get some sort of staticky lightning effects. So what I did was just with a very rough sort of tech pin brush, went in, did a bunch of little squiggles, and then uh, I went into their blend mode stuff and made it, uh, uh, had a glow around it. Then I darkened the background so you can see the character a little bit better and some of that glow and uh, fix up just a couple of things here and there. And then that's basically it. So. Here is the finished version of Kai the Sorcerer from Avandris. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dak Draws, and if you did, I would like to sort of challenge everyone to go leave a comment below and let me know one thing that you like the most that I do. So if it's drawing, if it's character design, if it's Minecraft videos, if it's build videos, I want each person that watches this video to leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you like because I would like to do more videos of the things that my audience likes. So let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. As always, thanks for watching this video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share with your family, your friends, and that weird neighbor down the street. Also, if you like what I do here, be sure to check out my Patreon to help out. And until next time, I hope everyone has a nice day.